welcome to the Geek Lab. And today we're going to look at the wacky world of 80s stroke 90s technology. Because today we're going to install Windows 95 into this fine machine. But we're not going to take the usual route. No, 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 no. We are going to install it from floppy disk. Which means not just using one floppy disk, or two, or three, or four. No, there's a few more than that. There is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, unlucky thirteen discs to install the Microsoft Windows upgrade. But first of all, let's have a look at the packaging it comes in. And here it is, the Microsoft Windows 95 upgrade. This aimed at people who already have Windows 3.1 installed in their system in DOS uh, 6.6, I think. Although it would deal with other versions of DOS also. Easiest Windows yet. More power, more freedom, more fun. Made in Ireland, for some strange reason. But there we go, on the 18th of July, 1995. Hmm. So, for users of Windows, we have got the hologram on the side there, Windows 95. Uh, you must accept the enclosed license agreement before you can use this product. And there we go, on the back. With Microsoft Windows 95 operating system, you can unlock the potential of your computer so you can work even easier and faster, explore exciting new possibilities, and even make it all fun when it crashes constantly. Yeah, that's my idea of fun. But anyway, for the, to run this, you'll need a minimum of a personal computer with a 386DX or higher processor running the MS-DOS operating system version 3.31 or later and Microsoft Windows version 3 or later or OS 2 version 2 or later, so it will kidnap you from OS 2 if you wish. We are going to be using a Pentium 133, so it's well within spec, 8 megabytes of memory and... 8.1 gigabytes, 8.2 gigabytes of hard drive, so plenty of room there. And got a nice screenshot of Windows there, and some gumph to sell it to you. Ooh. To make your 486 or Pentium machine the best looking, best performing Windows 95 based computer possible, get Microsoft Plus. Hmm, I have Microsoft Companion, but not Microsoft Plus. I have to remedy that. Well, there we go. That's the box. What did you get inside? Well, you get a cardboard case. Inside of which is a little bag that originally contained the discs. <sighs> Boring Microsoft subsidiary info, which possibly nobody ever, ever used. The Microsoft Windows Introducing Book. Uh, just like a quick start, quick start, quit, quick start guide. Something you don't get these days. But there we go. There you go. Get your running Windows 95 as quick as possible. Limited warranties. What you could win when you register. Yep, registration card. Apparently, it's pointless sending these in now because it's a different address, and they just ignore them because they're used to people playing that stunt on. Uh, this offer will end 31st October 1995. Okay, here's the stuff. I'm trying to flog your Microsoft money and other stuff like that. I wonder if you, uh, if you get the CD version, do you get a CD instead of a block? Hmm. Interesting thought. But that nobody cares about. Special introductory offer for Microsoft money for Windows 95. It's really astonishing offer. It's a really astonishing offer from Microsoft. Lovely. Yes. Okie dokie. That's that. So, that's the paperwork dealt with. Let's go get this thing and stick it on the computer. And for today's video, I'll be using this stunning, massive, compact Desk Pro from 1996. So it's the right time period. This thing sports a 133 megahertz Pentium processor, eight megabytes of memory, and a 1.8 gigabyte hard drive. Right, here we are with the Pentium 133, and as you can see, it's running Windows 3.1. 
The irony is, this was running Windows 95, but I've put it on back to 3.1 for this experiment. The version 95 that was on here was a bit screwed anyway, so it's a good chance to get a fresh install. So here's the first disc. Now, I have done this about a year ago with an old laptop, and for some reason it stopped installing, completely froze up, and the laptop would never boot again. So I'm hoping... <laughs> Hoping that it's not going to do that again with this. So if I close that, uh, go to File Manager, goodbye computer. <laughs> go to A, there should be somewhere uh, setup.exe. And we're off. So, Windows 95 Setup. Welcome to Windows 95 Setup. How many discs are there again? Uh, a lot. 13. Unlucky. Congratulations on your choice of Windows 95. Well, yes, uh, a lot of people did love this when it came out. It was very different. The newest and easiest way to do what you want to do with your PC. Not now it ain't. Setup will take from 30 to 60 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. Setup is now going to perform a routine check on your system. To proceed, click continue. Let us continue. And you got that traditional Windows 95 background there and you can see how low resolution that actually is if I zoom in here you can see the individual dots on that picture <laughs> hard drive working hard um, okay I said that I actually said that setup is now preparing the Windows 95 setup wizard which will guide you through the rest of the setup process please wait okay we shall wait we shall fast forward. well we shall time lapse this here we go Right, okay, please insert this too. Well, we got that far. Can't remember which disc it was last time, but this six way went all went horribly wrong, so we shall see. I have tested <coughs> eight individual discs before starting this project, so as far as we're aware, they work fine, so we shall see, shan't we? When it goes <coughs> bink. So, anyway, let's continue. Time lapse again. the software license agreement please read the following license agreement press the page down key to see the rest of the agreement let me know in the text if you've ever actually read this or any software agreement yep I want to sit there for hours reading that crap which is why they put so much stuff in it to get you because they know you ain't gonna read it Windows 95 setup wizard welcome to the Windows 95 setup wizard which will guide you through the rest of the setup to begin click next the next three parts of setup are collecting information by your computer, copying Windows 95 to your computer, restarting no computer and finishing setup. Ooh. Note, Windows 95 replaces any versions of MS-DOS on Windows that's already on your computer. That is fine. Right. Choose directory, C, Windows, yep. Please wait while setup prepares your Windows directory and verifies your computer has enough disk space to install Windows 95. This has got two 500 gigabyte uh, hard drives. 500 megabyte hard drives, sorry. So, no. No, 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 this has, I think it's 8.1 gigabytes on this computer, so, yeah, I think it's plenty. Save system files. Set up and save your existing MS-DOS and Windows system files. With these, you can uninstall Windows 5, 95 if necessary. Hmm, no, we'll just reboot the whole thing fresh. So, uh, no, I don't want it to do that. Next. Typical portal. Uh, recommended from SQL. Yeah, go on then. Next. Reading the disk. Copyright warning. Well, setup has detected the disk has already been used to set up Windows 95 on a computer. It is acceptable for the legal, legal owner to reinstall this product in order to update an existing copy. Yeah, there is a, uh, has been a Windows 95 on here, I think it's on one of the partitions, so, um, yeah. But, we'll continue. What the hell? 
Richard and Jane Smith, Porky Snack Bar. Uh? Um, where's that come from? That's not on the computer because I know this is not from Porky Snack Bar. We'll keep that. <laughs> Just for laugh, eh? Oh, there's a product identification number. Don't need to cover that up because it's uh, well old. Analyze your computer. Set up a check what kind of hardware is in your computer. If you're having the following devices, click the checkbox next to the item, then click next to continue. Network adapter. We have no network adapter at the moment. Analyze analyzing your computer. Woohoo. Time for some time lapse. Connected. Windows come with e comes with email, fax tools, and access to online services. If you'd like to install any of these components, click the checkboxes below. Do I want to install any? Oh, not on this occasion. Now I'm never going to use them. Uh, da, 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 let's have a look at the list of components. So we go on them. Accessibility? No, don't need that. Accessories, uh, tools, disc tools. Yeah, multimedia. Yeah, we need. Multimedia. Oh, do. Okay, we are sorted. Let's get them installed, baby. I'm still on disc two. I can't believe that. Uh, please specify your own startup. You can use start start your computer and run diagnostic programs if you have start all starting windows. You will need one floppy disk. No, let's uh, not do that this time. Next. Next. Right. Going to copy files. It's going to need to change your. Uh, discs a few times on this probably. Well it's a 13 disc I imagine so. Hey. Welcome to Windows 95. Windows 95 lets you unlock the potential of your PC. Oh yeah. What you do now will be easier and faster. Well, that's true. Well, what you want to do and more is now possible. Hmm. Whatever you do will be more fun. Yes, possibly telling the truth there with uh, this compared to 3.1, but let's let do its stuff. Right, please insert the disc labeled Windows 95 Disc 3 and then press continue. I'm gonna remove Disc 2 first and in sequels, the disc of three. Yes. Here, have more fun from its friendly intuitive interface to its speedy performance. Hey, how would Windows 95 provides you with the most enjoyable computing experience ever? If you don't count uh, OS for OS 2 Warp or uh, Mac OS, uh, right? Faster video revs up the action and the games you play. MS DOS based games run better and more reliably. High quality multimedia performance will dazzle you, apparently. Alright then, so we're going on to disc 4. We're getting closer to where the other one went horribly wrong, so we shall see. We shall see. Here we go. Dig out D-Disc 4 and insert D-Disc 5. Getting closer 
to the point where it all went dong last time. Big okay. Let's see. It is now time for disc six, and I believe this is where it happened last time, so let's see. It is with trepidation I do this, but we go. Seems we are past disc six and on to disc number seven. So hopefully we're past the danger zone. Well there could be other danger zones, so have I been through the danger zone? Oh am I just talking crap? Anyway, let's continue with disc seven. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we do appear to be past the danger zone, so disc eight. It's exciting. Maybe not. But let's let that do it. The pain. At least you're not watching it unfold in real time. I am. But save you the agony. Here comes more time ups. Okay, right, that's disc eight done, and disc nine. This is definitely a record. Can we make it all the way and install Windows 95? We shall see. Time for yes, you guessed it. The next disc, disc number ten. Let's go. Getting there, disc number 11. Good. <laughs> hey, this is not right because we are using a floppy version here. We lose out on the Windows Tour. Damn it! What a pity. Looking forward to that. Maybe not. Ooh, the penultimate disc. The mighty disc 12. Let us go. Yes, this is driving me insane, as you can probably tell. Well, insane err because I'm already insane. But there we go. Right, just 12. Nearly there. Looks like we... Well, I'm not going to speak too soon, but it may work. Hmm. We'll find out shortly. Right, my 
apologies, uh, but my memory card uh, got full there, so we missed the very end of the last disc installing, but we are now at the other side of the discs installing. Disc 13 is done. Uh, we're going to be restarting and finishing the setup, so... Yep, there she goes. She's running. You can't see much on the screen, but the computer is running. She's at her uh, setup detected disc in your floppy drives. Please remove all discs. Okie dokie. That's okay. Boink. And she's restarting while I put away my 13 discs. Ta -da. Right, this computer is not the fastest at booting. It's got this weird post process it goes through, so it could take a while. So I'll be back once it's done. Oh, getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. It's got the CD driver. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, low level driver error. Ooh, it's updating. Uh, I'm not going to go through and configure everything in this video. Uh, this is mainly about getting Windows running basically on this system from floppy. Uh, but I'll probably do a second video where we set this computer up more. So this video is just for those people interested in the floppy process. 13 discs, we did it. I'll be back once this has made some progress. Because at the moment it's doing a lot of disc chatter. As you can hear. It quiets down just to say that. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll be back. Right, so now going through the Windows 95 is setting up hardware and any plug and play devices you may have. Well, sort of, because it's a pain in the ass. So I was going through the usual stuff and uh, yeah, you've all seen this bit so I shall uh, come back once it's done all this. I know I said I'd be back once the uh, desktop was done but uh, just thought I'd show you there the first boot screen for Windows 95 on the system since we uh, put, since we've installed this new one. Oh, there we go. And uh, yeah, I don't want that. I want to close. We have a desktop. Wow. Now I wonder. There we are. It's installed from floppy disk, and nothing went wrong. Unlike last time when it uh, bricked the system. Um, this is where it uh, sort of goes in circles on mine because I uh, need to get the adapt the uh, drivers for the adapter so we've got to get them off the internet and put them on so yeah I'll let this run and then I'll be back yep and there we have it uh, tried to change resolution but uh, need the drivers installing and all that good stuff so let's have a quick look just show that it is just a standard uh, Windows 95 setup there yep all the usual stuff applications got the sound blaster stuff in there because I've got a sound blaster fitted uh, don't think it's gonna work though because there seems to be driver issues but this is something we're going to be doing in a different video so if you want to see that video or you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this then please subscribe uh, I'll just make sure but oh, we have got sound apparently let's just check hmm let me just make sure my speaker is behaving we will be moments no, I thought we might have sound, but uh, it appears not. Sound Blaster still needs working on. So that's for another video. But in the meantime, if you want to see that second video, or you've enjoyed this video and want to see more, then please subscribe. Please like the video because that helps. And you can join us on Twitter, Facebook group. All links are down below. And if you really like the channel, uh, you could support us through Patreon. That would be really appreciated. Other than that, Funnily enough, I've enjoyed this. Installing Windows of 13 discs. So, thank you very much for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>